What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUp Essentials for iPad. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to import a reference image and set it to scale inside of SketchUp for iPad. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how to bring a reference image into SketchUp for iPad. This can be valuable for a lot of things, whether it's using it as a base for drawing. Um, you could also use it for like texturing images with photos, which we're not gonna talk about this video, but we might talk about in a future video. But for now, we're just gonna take this image, which is a floor plan that I've created, and I'm going to bring it in. So we're gonna go ahead and jump over into SketchUp for iPad, and we're just gonna create a new file. So I'm gonna click on Create New, right here so that we have a new file. And so what we wanna do, you'd think that you'd wanna use this button right here in order to import things, but it's actually not the tool we wanna to use. And so what we wanna do is we wanna come over here and we wanna tap on the three dots right here. Um, and what you wanna do is you wanna go in here and you wanna look for the option for insert image. So um, it's probably going to be at the very top. You just tap on that in order to open that up. Now, you've got two options in here. Um, this is similar to SketchUp for desktop. And basically you have options to bring this in as an image object or an image texture. Now for this video, we wanna bring this in as an object because it's something we wanna draw on top of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on the option for use as image object. Then it's gonna ask us if we wanna take a photo, browse files, or go to our photo library. In this case, I've downloaded this into my photo library. So I just wanna to go to photo library. And I'm gonna go find that particular file. In this case, it's right here. And so what I want to do is I just want to tap on that right here. And then notice how nothing's really happened in my scene yet. Well, what I want to do, and I'm in click move, click mode. What I want to do is I want to just put my pencil down wherever I want this to go. A lot of the time you're going to want this to be placed um, just on the origin right here, just so that you don't have this way away from the origin. It doesn't cause any issues. But when you're done with that, you just want to press down in order to get that click right here. Notice how you get this like weird missing part of your image in here. That's because this tool isn't actually done. You've placed the first point, but you actually need to move your pencil in here in order to place the second point. And it doesn't really matter where you place this because we're going to go in and rescale this in a second. But if you want to get it kind of right, um, you can just scale this so that the height in here is close to something that's actually in your image. I don't really care. So I'm just going to press down again in order to place this. Well, now, Notice how this is in here as an object inside of SketchUp for iPad. So I can tap on it and I can select it just like I can anything else like this. But we have a problem. And the problem is if we were to jump into top down view right here, let's go ahead, let's pinch to zoom. If I was to try to measure this right now, so if I was to go in here and select the tape measure tool, and then I was to tap a point right here and a point right here, notice how my scale is off, right? So this distance should have been 57 feet, 10 and a half inches, and it wasn't, it was like 18 feet with the tape measure tool. And so what that indicates is that indicates that we need to rescale this image. And so what I usually do is I usually only want to rescale my image if I have anything else in my model. I don't want to rescale my whole model. So I'm going to show you a way to do that. And so what I want to do is notice how this came in as an object right here, right? So I can't like tap on the three dots and go in here and edit this as a group or anything like that. This is basically in here as an image object. But if I was to go in here, tap the three dots and click on explode, what that's going to do is that's going to explode this into four edges and a face with this image as a texture applied to it. Well, all I want to do is I want to regroup that. So I want to have all of those things selected. I just want to click on the button for make group. Well, now notice what I can do is I can tap on the three dots, click on edit group, and that's going to put me inside of this group. Well, Now what that means, that means that I can come in here and I can set my scale using the tape measure tool. And so the way that we want to do that is we want to come in here with the tape measure. So you want to tap on the three dots and go find the tape measure tool. And you want to find your first point. You might want to zoom in a little bit in order to do this. And so I'm going to go to this point right here and I'm going to press down in order to click. And then I'm going to scroll to the other end of my wall that I want to measure and use as my scale, right? So I'm just going to move my pencil up here then once I get to the end, I'm going to press down and I'm going to click again. So notice what that did is that measured my length. Well, now what I want to do is I want to tap 
in this little bar right here. And what this is gonna allow me to do is this is going to allow me to type in the value that I want that length to be. So in this case, I'm gonna say 31 foot four inches. And I'm gonna hit enter. And so when I do that, notice how I get this little bar, this little window in here that says, do you wanna resize the active group or component? Well, in this case, my answer is yes. And so when I do that, notice what that did is that resized this image so that that distance that I measured using the tape measure tool was now the proper length. So now if I use the tape measure tool and I measure this, so we go from this point to this point and I'm way zoomed out. So we're not going to be like 100% precise, but notice how this is 31 foot three and seven eighths inches. So now this length actually matches with the length that was on my drawing. So this is now to scale and I can use it as a reference image for drawing. And so now if I wanted to, I could come in here and I could start modeling this out, right? It would be pretty easy to do. I would just find my base point and I would probably want to make sure that I get pretty close to this point so that I have this in here accurately, but I would want to find this point and then I would want to draw a line. Now, one thing about this is if you were to try to model on top of this, make sure that you're actually typing in the dimension length that's in here. Like don't come in here unless you're doing something fast and your scale doesn't matter. Don't come in here and actually tap on the point, actually type in the value 31 foot four inches so that you know that you're modeling properly and to scale. We can do a more in-depth video on actually modeling on top of an image like this in the future if you're interested. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.